Executive sedans are a dying breed ever since the rise of the mid-size crossover. However, if there is a bannerman for the executive sedan, that would be the Toyota Camry. And to prove that the Camry is well-equipped for the future, we get this. This is the Toyota Camry 2.5V Hybrid. Now, what sort of uh, eco-friendly goodies can we expect from the king of the local executive midsize sedans? Well, it's time for us to find out. Let's do this. Hello guys, I'm Reagan and welcome back to another car feature. If you're new to my channel, I want you to click that subscribe button for your regular dose of Philippine automotive content. If you're my subscriber already, well, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. But first, click that like button. Also, special thanks to Toyota Valenzuela for providing the Camry Hybrid to do this car feature. If you are within the area and you need any Toyota, head on down here to Toyota Valenzuela and check them out. For any inquiries, you may contact the person in my pinned comment below. In what appears to be the sign of the times, Toyota Motor Philippines decided to trim the local Camry lineup to just this sole hybrid variant. Now, the Camry is the king of the mid-size sedans in the, in the country, but it doesn't really sell as well as it used to. Now, the move to offer just a sole hybrid variant here in the Philippines ensures that there is still a Camry option and as the world moves towards hybrids and electric vehicles, well, this sole Camry variant uh, will be able to keep up with the times. Now, this Camry 2.5V hybrid has a retail price of 2,335,000 Philippine pesos, which is on the upper end of the mid-size sedan category in terms of pricing. But it is still a pretty good deal, guys, considering that with this Camry, you will be taking lesser trips to the gas station. Now, when it comes to design, well, Camrys have always been known to be boring uh, appliances on wheels. However, ever since the announcement of Toyota President Akio Toyoda that they will stop making boring cars, well, the Camry in its current iteration is proof of that. I must admit, guys, every time I see one of these things on the road, it surely will turn my head. Now, this thing is sleek and sporty from its uh, squinty LED headlights here and the LED DRLs down to that sporty looking front grille. And we, we also have a blue Toyota badge right there because this is a hybrid. And uh, I can't believe I'm going to say this about a Camry, guys. But hot damn, this thing looks darn sexy. The Camry is a mid-size sedan, which means that it has a well-proportioned side profile. Now, it doesn't get any embellishments or fancy design here on the side, which will appeal more to the more conservative Camry owners out there. Well, it does get some chrome window trimmings here, as well as chrome do door handles. Plus, it has power folding side mirrors with LED turn signals. Oh yeah, and we also get a hybrid badge on the front fender. Now, the Camry still rocks the same 18-inch alley wheels here, but the wheel design has been tweaked a bit to make it a little bit sporty. Now, these wheels are still wrapped in 23545 R18 tires. Uh, behind those wheels, the braking duties are handled by four-wheel disc brakes, and its plush suspension is courtesy of a MacPherson front suspension and a double wishbone rear suspension. Now, the ground clearance of the Camry stands at 140 millimeters, 
which if you think about it, is a bit on the low side for an executive sedan, but it's just right for a car that has some sporty intentions. Now, the rear end of the Camry is another part of this car that me likey. I mean, check it out, guys. This is one sexy rear end. We get some sporty cues here, like this subtle integrated ducktail spoiler design on the trunk lid. Plus, you also get these sleek LED taillight units. Now, we also have here a chrome center garnish with the words Camry spelled out. And the, the way they designed this, it has that uh, jewel-like design to it. And when you couple that with the black paint of this Camry, I mean, my goodness, guys, this is one elegant looking rear end. Not to mention the fact that we also get a blue badge right here that signifies that it's still a hybrid. Oh yeah, and we also have a hybrid badge right there. <laughs> now to pop open this trunk, well, the trunk opener cannot be found in the center part, but rather it's on the right side of the of the deck lid and once you open that you see that you get a good amount of space here uh, it's around 15.1 cubic feet of space but uh, to put it in proper perspective i have with me my medium-sized luggage i'm going to put my medium-sized luggage here guys as you can see we can fit a couple of those there so yeah it's not really the biggest trunk space in the mid-size executive sedan category uh, the honda accord has a larger trunk space so yeah, it's, but it's pretty decent for a mid-size sedan. Uh, the thing is, one uh, little bit of a bummer here, guys, is the fact that the back seats do not fold down. So if you're transporting larger or longer items, well, you better bring with you your Toyota Innova or your Fortuner because it won't fit in your Toyota Camry. Now, the biggest ace of this Camry hybrid is what lies underneath its hood. Now, what we have here is a 2.5-liter inline-four gasoline motor that is paired with an electric motor. Now, the combined output of this power plant stands at 207 horsepower and 221 newton meters of torque. Now, power is sent to the front wheels via an eCVT transmission. However, I don't really have the fuel consumption figures of this Camry hybrid as of now because, well, this is just a car feature. Uh, we'll have to wait for an actual driving uh, review video of the Camry hybrid for me to be able to test that. Uh, but if we are going to use the other Toyota hybrid uh, models that I've tested in the past as a guidance, well, guys, I'd expect that the Camry hybrid will also return a fuel consumption in the neighborhood of around 20 kilometers per liter. The Toyota Camry Hybrid here in the Philippines is really meant for Camry owners who would sit in the back seat, but uh, somebody still has to sit here in the driver's seat, yeah? <laughs> but anyway, guys, for the Camry drivers out there, well, we do get a good bunch of premium luxury features here up front. Of course, the seats are leather wrapped and we get power adjustments for both the driver and the passenger. Uh, however, we don't get any ventilation function here in the front seats. So yeah, if we had ventilation function, then uh, this thing would have been perfect. Uh, still, we do get a leather wrap steering wheel here, guys. And a bit of good news, the steering wheel is power adjustable. So yeah, that's also a nifty feature there. And we also have a good bunch of buttons here, which controls, amongst other things, uh, Toyota's Safety Sense Suite. Uh, as you can see on your screen, guys, well, Toyota Safety Sense is a whole bunch of safety and driver assist aids that will help keep the Toyota Camry Hybrid occupants safe at all times. When you look up, guys, we also have a regular size uh, sunroof there for, you know, for the added uh, premium feel to this thing. And when you look over to your instrument gauge cluster, well, if you're familiar already with the uh, gauge cluster of uh, Toyota's hybrid models, well, you get the same format and layout right here now when you move over to your infotainment system uh, this in infotainment system gets a larger nine inch uh, touchscreen display and it also comes equipped with apple carplay android auto and a 360 degree view camera image i'm happy to see that we now have a 360 degree view camera here and not just a reverse camera guys uh, but the image quality is uh, pretty similar to the ones you'll see in the let's say a toyota fortuner or the, even the, um, the LC300, which means that, yeah, it's usable, although not really the best in its class. 
Now when you go down from there guys, we have a triple zone fully automatic climate control set up here for your yeah, for your air conditioning and we also have a wireless charging pad here at the bottom part plus a small cubby underneath that wireless charging pad and we also have here a button for your electronic park brake with an auto hold feature and we have your buttons for your drive modes which is yeah pretty much a par for the course you get an eco mode a normal a sport and a full ev mode now we also have a um, couple of cup holders here guys which I will subject to my clean canteen test uh, but hold on my clean canteen is right outside I'm gonna get it I'll be right back all right I got my clean canteen right here yeah thank you for waiting guys so let's uh, subject the cup holders to my clean canteen test well yeah the Camry is a model that's sold worldwide so yeah, as you can see it completely passes my clean canteen test right there now uh, Guys, when it comes to the cabin materials used here in the Camry Hybrid, well, the Camry is the flagship midsize sedan, at least here in the Philippines, so we do get a good bunch of premium cabin materials. The whole dashboard is wrapped in leather. The door cards are wrapped in leather. We get a good amount of um, contrast brown stitching here, which I'm really liking. It's uh, nice and subdued, but elegant as well. And uh, we do get some wood trim here that is uh, more modern because this wood trim is, uh, well, it's dark gray. It's a matte dark gray, and it's no longer the glossy, like uh, brown wood trim that can be found in Camrys of old. Yeah, so the whole um, cabin materials the layout it's pretty good except for one well bit of a bummer that yeah it's kind of a bit of an eyesore for me and that would be the design of this infotainment system see it looks like something that just tacked on there it's like an afterthought guys kind of reminds me of a 1990s a crt tv so yeah it's a bit of an eyesore the way they designed it uh, but at least this infotainment system also powers a 9-speaker uh, JBL sound setup. So yeah, even if it doesn't really look that good, at least the sound stage would probably sound really good. Alright guys, so we're now here at the business end of the Toyota Camry Hybrid, uh, especially here in the Philippines. As I mentioned, most Camry owners here in the country will rather sit here at the back and uh, be driven in instead of driving the Camry themselves. Now Toyota knows this and that's why they equip this Camry with some pretty sweet features to make the ride here at the back seat as comfortable as possible. Case in point, space. Well, I'm 5 foot 6 guys and as you can see, I got gobs of space here at the back. But if you want to have like the maximum amount of leg room, well, you better sit behind the front passenger because we've got a couple of buttons here on the side, which if you press it, can just make the front passenger seat move forward and go away, thereby giving you tons and tons of leg room space here. As you can see, it's pretty comfortable, guys. <laughs> now, as you, as you can also see, the center armrest is already deployed right here because this is the default setting for the back seat of the Camry Hybrid. Why is it the, the default setting? You see, we have here a bunch of controls. In fact, we have a control panel here right on the, on the center armrest. And this uh, control panel, well, it controls like the power adjustable uh, rear seat, as you can see. You could uh, adjust the seat back of the rear seat, whether you want it upright or if you want it to recline. So that also gives you more comfort as you sit here at the back. Now this the control panel also has the controls for the third climate control system here at the back. And it also has a button which operates the power rear sunshade right here on your rear glass. Now we also have a manual privacy shades here on the windows for maximum privacy guys. So yeah, this, um, this setup makes the back seat of the Camry truly premium, plush, and comfortable. Now the only thing that I noticed is that's missing here is a set of uh, ventilated seats. I mean, we don't get any heat or ventilation function here at the back. And uh, if ever like Toyota equipped that, the Camry with a ventilation function, well, this uh, back seat would have been perfect. But still, it is close to perfect as it is right now. 
The Toyota Camry Hybrid may be more expensive now, but it is still priced well within the same level as the other mid-size executive sedans in the category. It also has the advantage of lesser trips to the pump, plus that plush back seat, especially if you're the one being driven and not the driver. Now, some of you out there might say, get a mid-size SUV instead. I mean, come on, guys. You're completely missing the point. You see, this uh, Toyota Camry Hybrid is all about giving you a comfortable and refined ride every single time you go from the boardroom to the country club. And that, my friends, is something that no mid-size SUV in its price category can ever give you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.